and welcome Lisa, Mike. Hi, thank you. Great to have you here. Um, so now we're going to talk about youth participation. We're going to talk about your background, the World Food Forum and the national chapter, how, how it's going to, to look like in the Netherlands. Um, maybe I can introduce you really briefly. Uh, Lisa, you have a background in biology, uh, in biomedical sciences. You have a passion for supporting the change of sustainable food systems, of course, and you've been involved in the World Food Forum as a youth champion, currently working uh, also as FME as a project manager in agriculture, water and food. And Mike, who will speak later, uh, is the vice chair of the UN Food Systems Summit Action Track Number 5, a nutrition advocate and an SUN CSN Youth Leader for Nutrition. So I leave, uh, leave the floor to you, Lisa, and to talk to us a little bit more. Yeah, thank you. Um, also, I want to say that I'm now at the, uh, because of course we are here uh, Youth World Food Day online, but I'm also now on the festival terrain. Uh, so if we talk about youth participation here, it's all uh, also going around, uh, which is really, uh, really great to see. Um, yeah, so as Gabriel already said, I will uh, be mainly talking about the World Food Forum. Uh, and I will share my screen so I can show you a little bit of a presentation about that. Um, I don't know if maybe Gabriel, uh, if people can also ask questions, um, but if there are questions, uh, please let me know. Or if you have questions in between because you are also involved. So uh, feel free to jump in. Start to share my screen. Yeah, so uh, hopefully everyone can see this. Um, so we're for uh, Youth World Food Day, uh, and I will mainly discuss uh, the uh, World Food Forum and also uh, the ideas on the Dutch chapter for that. Uh, I already mentioned that this afternoon at, um, at 4.30, we will also have a session uh, further on this. So for those interested, uh, also uh, make sure you watch this afternoon later. Um, but first, I would like to start a little bit with uh, a view on uh, the World Food Forum itself. So how did it came about and why? Um, and I have a short video uh, that introduces it a bit. Um, so I would like to start with that. Um, and after that, I will also uh, continue to explain uh, a bit more, but uh, yeah. Sometimes uh, video show, says more than just words, so. We saw a problem. 811 million people are hungry. Actually, we saw many problems. The COVID-19 pandemic, 1.3 billion tons of food lost or wasted, pests, conflict, and climate change. We're adding to this global food crisis. Inheriting this world is not acceptable. We needed to take matters into our own hands. We needed to think big. We needed to disrupt the status quo. It was time for us youth to take control of our future. And for the first time, we would be in the driving seat. The FAO Youth Committee began to brainstorm. To solve these big problems, we needed something massive. But how could we get the world to listen? How could we incite action? How could we find innovative solutions? How could we transform the way we worked? And how could we build a better food future? More than an idea, we needed a movement. And we needed energy to power that movement. We knew we had energy, but we were just a few. We needed more. From every corner of the world, we needed to tap into the energy of the billions of young people around the planet. We asked, what if we could create a global platform 
that could empower youth everywhere. And we thought, let's do it, we have to try. The stakes were too high to let our energy go to waste. The World Food Forum was born in 2020. Because this is not a thought, it's an idea, an insight, the building block of change. Think about it. Everything comes from an insight, everything. This meeting was born as a fresh thought in someone's mind. Your presence here, my dear, is just a consequence of you being still enough to hear and know how to follow up on an idea. And so, if everything comes from an idea, a fresh start, so will a new world. And you, young leaders and change makers, are here to be vessels and bring new ideas to life. It started with a few voices speaking out with a vision of what could be possible. Good afternoon. It started when people took a moment to listen. Youth leaders, musicians, scientists, influencers, experts, institutions, and business leaders heard our call. And soon, those few voices turned into a chorus and that chorus became a roar. Our numbers quickly began to grow. We took our ideas to our colleagues. We built a website. We started hosting research competitions, startup awards, master classes, and youth consultations. It wasn't always easy. We got tired. We had moments of overwhelm, but we remained committed. The passion of our fellow volunteers renewed our energy when we got tired. We knew we could do this, and we are doing it. The 2021 World Food Forum flagship event was powered by hundreds of volunteers, dozens of partners, and reached tens of thousands of people in all regions of the world. We had more than 25 pre-events, youth roundtables and consultations. And this past week, we hosted over 65 total sessions, including 14 masterclasses, 10 cultural experiences, 25 side events, with over 6,000 participants coming from around the world. But more, we have made a concrete difference. We found innovative research projects. We found promising startups and helped them scale up their ideas. We held a youth action assembly and came up with clear priorities and actions to transform our food systems starting now. We hosted Junior World Food Day, making sure that no one, no matter how young, would be left behind. We have started something that is bigger than ourselves. We have created a space where change is possible, where breakthroughs can happen, and where ideas become action. We have created a place where all youth voices can be heard. In this fertile ground, we are growing the future that will nourish us all. This is the World Food Forum, powered by global youth. The movement has only just begun, so join us. Yeah, so that uh, gives a little bit of an introduction about the World Food Forum. Uh, so as you can see, um, it just begun. Um, we just, the, the, the World Food Forum just launched uh, at the beginning of this uh, month uh, from 1 till 5 of 5th of October um, was the flagship event. Um, but yeah, a little bit step back. So why did it start? So there's still now no high level youth platform. Uh, while youth make up half of the world population. So this is like, there's something missing here. Um, and also what I think is also very important is food is part of every part of our lives. It is involved in our social exchange, uh, social gatherings, it's involved in our health. Um, so why, why are youth not involved yet? So that's also a question that the World Food Forum had uh, and one of the reasons it started. Um, 
So it's an independent global network of partners created for and led by youth. And that's very important because it's youth led. So not something from a top down, but really from youth by youth. Um, and it's a way to transform our global food systems around action. So not just talking, but also actions. And as I have to say here, we just started. So we want to co-create with you around the world, with youth networks. So if you're listening now and you say, hey, interesting, uh, feel free to contact uh, the World Food Forum on this um, because, yeah, we're looking for collaboration and co-creation together with everyone. So that's why it's also important to mention that the World Food Forum is not a new youth network on itself. It's more a way to combine um, and as I said, the idea is to find actionable, innovative and inclusive solutions uh, because yeah, young people need the power to and have the power to, to change things, uh, but we need that seat on the table and that's what the World Food Forum uh, can provide. So uh, a little bit how the World Food Forum is built up. Um, there are, yeah, as I said, um, it's important that youth are empowered, but not everyone or not every person is interested in politics. Um, so it's also very important to have a broader view on that. And that's interesting because this morning I was in the offline session here at Youth World Food Day. Um, and they also mentioned there that it's important to normalize a little bit like the sustainability action and the, the um, yeah. To, to normalize the, the, the transition also in society. And therefore, I think, and I've heard it many times now, it is also important to use storytelling, to use education as a very important tool, but also to use the power of music, the power of film, of, of, of pictures. Um, and that's why there's also a film track and a music track and an education track where different people work on these uh, topics to also stimulate the food transition in the in these areas um, but i will also explain a little bit about the youth action track uh, because i was involved in that as well and um, the youth action track is really about how to make sure youth voices are heard and that they are part of a bigger movement here um, so yeah, to give a little bit of a start, um, the past months, maybe you've heard of it, um, it was also already in the program um, and will be also later. Um, the Food System Summit was this year, but there are also very many other um, youth networks that wrote manifest statements um, that made their voices being heard um, and made their statements clear. So what the youth World, youth action track from the World Food Forum tried, tried to do, tries to do actually, because it's still, it's, it's an ongoing process, is to grasp all these good ideas, all these action, these statements from youth around the world uh, and put them into one uh, statement so that you can really a, um, yeah, that you really create one voice together because the World Food Forum is really about doing it uh, together but not, and not excluding anyone. So that's why also you might wonder why then have a new platform or, but the World Food Forum is like an independent uh, apolitical platform. So not, not, it's, it's not a new network in itself as I just mentioned, but really uh, like creating the, those, those collaborations together. Um, so based on these, we uh, created a document uh, where we have the different parts, the three pillars of the World Food Forum together. So first of all, there's the Youth Action Compendium, which is actually what I just mentioned, a summary or a compilation of different youth statements into one. So we mapped them and set, uh, looked where the main priorities from youth are. Uh, this is a bit small, but I will explain a bit more later. Um, then there's the youth mechanism that's more on the, yeah, the governance of the uh, World Food Forum. So how is it built up? Um, how can youth be involved? Um, 
how to connect with youth networks around the world. Uh, and then there's the action plan and the action plan explains a bit about the goal, the vision for the future. And there's of course a high um, interwoven connection between them. So a bit more about them. So the youth action compendium, as I said, uh, it's a summary of youth calls to action to members uh, to partners around the world uh, around uh, system topics for food uh, and they those are connected around the four betters of the fao which are better nutrition better production better life and better environment which you also can see on the pictures um, so really to tap in into the goals of um, yeah of of the FAO, but also to connect it with policy, for instance. Um, but also for youth, it's directly a action guide. So what can I do? Um, what can I do with my youth network? Where to have a priority? Um, so yeah, it's, it's like a reference tool. You can see it in that way. Um, and also a way to uh, find actionable solutions. So here's, for instance, an example um, from the mapping on better nutrition, where we saw mainly statements with um, ideas around ultra-processed food, uh, fast food, um, subsidies, uh, education, feeding programs for school. Um, those are topics that came around very often. And that I heard also this morning in the session that education is really a vital part of um, raising awareness, but also change. Then there's the youth mechanism, um, which is, as I said, a way to, yeah, how do we uh, create ourselves? How is it governed um, to coordinate, uh, facilitate youth engagement and also partnerships in that. And there's the action plan uh, on the goals and the vision. And as I said, these uh, work very much interlinked between them. Then, as I said, it's really also about action, actionable solutions. But what do I then, how do, how do we envision that? How, what do I mean with that? Well, how we envision it, and this is really work in progress, as I have to say, because we just started. Um, but what can be, could be done is that you have an actionable solution dashboard where you, because there's already many things going on, many great initiatives, youth networks, uh, smart startup companies, um, research. So, if you have more of you on what is already there, then you can have a connection between it and you can use it on policy level or also have a, a reference to where you can see, oh, I have this idea, where can I find it? How can I scale up? Uh, so if you have a way to tap into these great ideas already out there, then you can um, replicate or learn from them. So that is why uh, an actionable solution dashboard could really help. And for that, of course, it's really important to have help from youth networks around the world to share their ideas, share their actions, uh, so that we can really show what's already out there. Then I would like to continue because, okay, this is very broad, very global, um, but how does that tap into a Dutch chapter pilot for the World Food Forum? And also this is again, work in progress. So um, if you have ideas about it, please bring those to the table because we want to have you heard. Um, but again, why? Um, first of all, no replication, prevent fragmentation. And also this morning I had a talk, why do we need another platform? Well, the World Food Forum is not in that way a new network, as I said, but more on combining what's already out there. Uh, and here in the Netherlands, for instance, there's already a plan laying um, to connect different youth networks. So I'm from the Netherlands. I said, I'm not going to make a new World Food Forum chapter myself or think how to make it myself, but I will just go to that party uh, that already has a plan and see how we can connect. Um, because I think that's more important than just figuring it out uh, on my own. Um, but then why connect to the World Food Forum? Well, the World Food Forum has a great global support already. Uh, it has an ability to bring even broader youth voices to the table because of the, the broad network uh, and also the international network. Um, but 
you need it on a local and national level because you need context specificity. Uh, so that's why it's important to have uh, a national chapter on that. Um, and finally, it's also interesting to connect, uh, exchange and collaborate what we do here in the Netherlands, again, globally, so that we can learn from global, other global initiatives, but also they can learn perhaps from us. Um, so the idea for that was to connect to different youth institutes, youth constituencies already in the Netherlands, as I said. Uh, so here we have uh, Groenpact um, and NJR that already like have youth representatives, for instance, for the UN, um, and connect them to the different youth constituencies. And they link then to the international level. So there you have the um, NUR, which are chosen, chosen because we think it's also very important that everyone has the ability to um, have a seat at the table. Um, and that's also what we ask, to have really that seat on the table. And as I said, this afternoon, we will continue a bit more about this, uh, how this could look like. But it's really, really uh, important that we see how to connect the different uh, youth constituencies in the Netherlands, but also to find those actions together and have really a thematic uh, approach, uh, action plan where we can work on. Because we can keep talking, we can keep continuing to think about how we are going to do it, but on a certain point we have to start. And I think that moment to start, uh, yeah, I think it, I hope it is now. So. Um, but as I said, we also would like to hear from you. So that's why actually I would like um, for people, I don't know if you already used it in this uh, session, but um, I made a Mentimeter uh, because I am very interested. It can also be filled in later, but um, if you can use the code that's on the screen, uh, 49186966, if you're watching, um, because I'm very interested how you would like to see a World Food Forum chapter and what, what do you think is important um, or you can type in a youth organization that could be involved. Um, I'm just very interested to hear your thoughts on this. You know, people can see this. Otherwise, Gabriel, I don't know if you're still here. Yes, of course. Ah, nice. I also am very interested for about your ideas. How, uh, what do you think is important also for a World Food Forum chapter, whether it's in the Netherlands or anywhere else? Because you're also involved, of course, in Europe. Um, yeah, manifest. Um, so you must have had, had thoughts about this or talked about this, um, or maybe you have some ideas. Mm -hmm. ah, I see already now I'm run on the screen. Um, I really like, I really am happy that this comes up because this is really what we want to achieve. Um, but yeah, I'm really interested to hear your thought about it. Thanks, Lisa, and thanks a lot um, for your presentation. And um, I think you, you, to sum it up a little bit, you, World Food Forum, you have the world world in it so it's how can we as you mentioned concretize a global vision and now you're trying to make it even more actionable at the local level which is also what we did with the uh um youth for, for sustainable food systems uh manifesto uh, at the european level and we did that at the european level because we believe that was the a block that uh, made sense in terms of policy making, in terms of financing, and all and all that. And you're going even more local at the Netherlands le level, which makes even more sense um, to decline. Um, now, what what can we hope to see? Well, I guess uh, I <laughs> I like to see what we mentioned at the European level also. So education and transparency. We know the Netherlands is a big, big agricultural power um, produces a lot. It also consumes uh, a lot because of, of its population. Um, and uh, I, I guess um, if if that movement can drive uh, forward the, the 
the need for the young generations, but also the other one to understand what is the what is food, where does it come from, what's its its impact. That's something that would be brilliant, and I think at the at the national level that can be something that can be done through laws, through maybe uh, partnerships, innovations. So um, that that would be awesome to see, and also regarding agricultural practices, which is our, our second point. Uh, Netherlands is basically the laboratory of the world for uh, growing food in. Anyway, I'd say anyway, because you have you have facilities. You can mimic the climate of, of Hawaii uh, in the Netherlands, which is totally uh, crazy, but true. Um, so yeah, also also seeing how can this agricultural power make sure and how young can influence uh, the country to make sure they transition towards a new. Um, a new way to grow food, a new way to organize the land, to distribute it. I guess that would be uh, awesome. And um, I wanted to ask you a question before maybe we go to, to Mario and Mike for the UNFSS. You mentioned uh, that at the end of the World Food Forum, uh, first ever event, uh, you came up with some clear, I'd say, ideas of, okay, this are actually the biggest thing we should do, which comes from the compendium, but also from the discussions you've had. Can you maybe talk a little bit about that, like give us some concrete examples more than the, the ones you already did? Yeah, yeah, certainly. We have three pillars. Um, so the first one, yeah, of course, not besides the compendium, because um, those are more like the action. But first of all, it's really important that we are recognized, um, that the World Food Term is institutionalized and recognized uh, globally as the platform for youth. That's really important because it's not, uh, not yet there. There is no institutionalized youth platform high level yet. So that's the first priority we had. Uh, and then you have a basis where you can collect those actionable solutions. But second point, um, what's also important then is that you're credible. So it also needs to be science-based. It needs to be needs to have some science below it to um, to back up those uh, actionable solutions because yeah otherwise it's really hard to also communicate to policymakers for instance because you just need those science and that's also why we have within the world food forum a, a young scientist track or a young scientist panel um or creating it creating one um where we really can have those scientific backgrounds um and yeah, uh, there you can also link again to the initiatives. That's also really interesting then to see how science can also link to already existing initiatives. Uh, that's something personally what I think would be really amazing. Uh, and then the third point um, was, yeah, um, maybe some recognize it. Um, we're all doing it voluntarily. Um, and we just need some support. That was the third point we asked for, so resources. Because, uh, and I'm, I'm not only talking about money, actually, it's also about support in knowledge, in uh, acknowledgement, in empowerment, in having a seat at the table, really. So like really being able to talk. And I think in the Netherlands, there's really, there, there are ways to do that already. Uh, so I think it already is happening, but, um, yeah, sometimes it is about finance because it is true that young people and I'm then not only in initiatives, but also farmers, for instance, have lack of resources uh, like money, um, like subsidies. It's harder to come by. So, um, yeah, and also some support, of, of course, in, um, in in knowledge. Thank you. Maybe a last question and then Mario and Mike uh, can yeah. join. What is youth? because you that's a discussion <laughs> we've had a lot of time in a lot of different organizations yeah, yeah. so did I you had manage, it this morning also <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> did you manage to find a definition you agreed on on what is a youth well what we have now as a and i think we just stick to that one for now is uh youth between 18 and 35 um to have it as a youth um yeah, sometimes say sometimes it's said between 18 and 24, but yeah, it's hard to have a, a clear definition. Sometimes people even say, why look at age at all? You can also look at um, state of mind, for instance. Um, 
but yeah. Um, and for this, I would also like to mention, and what's also discussed this morning is the uh, part on intergenerational, because we can talk about youth, of course, which is really important because we just need a seat on the table, but it's also important to talk about integration. So how can we not be like something separate? Um, to Just to name something, uh, there's a policy statement, it goes to the youth department and youth give some input and it goes back. No, we need to be part of the whole picture, um, which I think is also really important because otherwise youth become sort of uh, a separate thing, almost like we're not human. Uh, so you have human and you have youth. Uh, and that's also, I think, not what should happen. Yeah, thank you about the last point. So um, yeah, uh, World Food Forum success for this year, three main pillars that you just mentioned uh, and uh, a lot to come. And we will come back later today on, on the, the Netherlands chapter. Thanks yeah. a lot, Lizanne. Thank you.